see in fact it's a very satanic it's very pleasure seeking and this mind control thing the way the mind control works is that the way the mind control works is that it's sat satanism and you see the word s-a-t the letter s-a-t satanism satisfaction s-a-t satisfaction so satisfaction and satanism this is the same it's the same kind of thing it's related to that the way the mind control stuff works is it is it is they have technology extremely advanced technology nanotechnology and stuff like that the way that this mind control stuff works is that um, is that when you are when someone is you know saying devil or dying or attack or you know sex or something like these different things especially in movies sorry when movies and stuff like that then it makes your mind feel good pleasure seeking from that and then when there's something like love or be good or goodness or you see be nice or kind of some of these other things like that then there's no pleasure associated with that that's as simple as it is and as simple as it works that's how that stuff works so again the mind control through nanotechnology and through electrical waves or electrical pulses these electrical pulses are able to and it's also through all the electronics so it's through the cell phones through the tablets through the laptops it is these pulses so the pulses along with this nano nanoparticles nanotechnology is it is able to give either pleasure it, pleasure on the one side or the pressure and pain and, and feeling bad on the other side just two different you know these different things they can use play and they use this to their advantage so they'll use the the pleasure based stuff and do that toward attacks and satanism and and, 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 and conflict and stuff like that to try to create more conflict because look how many people there are so they're trying to do stuff to put it into their advantage to make into their advantage these things these these you know uh, to try to make attacks feel sexy and feel good to try to make violence feel pleasurable and this is what the purpose of the mind control is and then to make friendship deep meaningfulness positive connections between people they want to make that boring or even constrictive painful bad stuff like that to try to discourage the spiritual awakening of people the spiritual awakening of mankind and the spiritual awakening of people that's what they're trying to do look at this that's what they're trying to do make the spiritual awakening of all these people to slow this down to put things in their favor for their advantage so that so that the spiritual awakening of the people does not happen does not happen as much and, and cannot happen they're trying because there's lots of people out there and they'll try through warfare they'll try through economic situations because look how many people are out there these people are happy they're productive they want to be happy they want to be productive they want to be successful who doesn't want to be happy and have what you want in your life have enough money to get food and have your apartment taken care of you don't have to work so hard and all these positive things so that's what's going on and the mind control is directed at giving makes sense the mind control is directed at giving pain giving pressure giving trouble and giving pleasure toward the things that they want to do they want pleasure toward the attacks pleasure toward the you know the conflict to giving pleasure there to try to make it look sexy if you're fighting and attacking and, and hateful violence and and today they're going all out they're going just just they're trying really 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 hard tremendous stuff they're trying with, with that that movie um, it is the King Kong no Godzilla Godzilla 
king of the beasts or whatever it's called. This everybody knows about this, and everybody's studying uh, these things. The Godzilla, king of the beasts, is or whatever this stupid movie is. It has all the same uh, programming stuff in which they try to. All uh, has all the same crap in which they try to. Um, try to program that women are evil. Women are not, you know, pleasure and spiritual consciousness awakening creatures. Women are evil. You'll see the woman say, no, I'm not going with you. Boom, I'm going to release the creature. To try to empower women, the power of them to do attacks and, 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 and to release terrorists and, and to do all these horrible things. That does not make any sense, but that, that's what they're promoting. Everything they promote does not make any sense try to do these evil things to because this gives them an edge if everybody's believing that stuff if all these people are believing this stuff then some of the people are going to copy this behavior they're going to copy this behavior and think that that's the way to behave you know if you're a woman you must be mean to men you must extort them for money and take the sex and cast out the men and destroy them and you know that's what they're trying to do that's what they're trying to promote so there's people who will fall for this stuff, and there's people who will not fall for this stuff. The people who are not falling for this stuff are enlightened people, spiritually advanced people, at peace with themselves. They know their purpose in life. They may have family, stuff like that. The people that could fall for these things and are falling for some of these things are people who are corporate slave workers. They are mass kind of dumb people in all these things. That these are the people that are easily following the stuff. You know, following a lot of movies, watching a lot of these movies. If you watch these movies and stuff and are just like a Starbucks dumb person, you may buy into some of these things. And they want this through the media, through the television, on a gigantically vast scale. Everybody's staring into those screens. Everyone staring into those screens because when you stare into those screens you are uh, Staring into those screens When you're staring into the screens then you get the stuff, you know, you can see that you can see these movies You're staring watching these movies constantly. You're buying into the stuff just like Keith Keith says, oh no, that couldn't be really real I mean, just, you know, a lot of slave type follower people and, and the corporate type of follower type people so you know, these people are buying into the stuff and, and, and just kind of dumbed down, oh, following the, you know, and, and, and this is what they try to do, try to program that bullshit. And they want the control of the masses. They don't want an awakening. They do not want an awakening. They want to control the masses. They cannot control that many people. There's too many. It's their pipe dream to kill everyone. Literally, it's their pipe dream. It's their fucking um, perfect world with over 50% of all people everywhere dead and gone. That is their perfect world. That way they have better control over what the rest of the people do as good slaves. It's similar to what Hitler tried to do. It's similar to what some of these extremist dictators will try to do. And they, they want... You know, they want the world to appear like their world. They don't want the world to appear to be an open, free place where people can be free and, and pursue whatever they want in life. Whatever your perfect vision, whatever your perfect vision is, they don't want that, you know, they don't want that to be what's going on. They want everyone to follow what you're supposed to do. If you look like a cute white girl, you're supposed to act like these other cute white girls. You're supposed to be... Um, you know, uh, kind of like a little mean bitch who doesn't want to have a family and just wants to watch a movie and, and give me my money. And, and that's one of these agendas that they try to promote, these agendas.